Hey guys! So obviously this video is coming because every single DCP vlogger does this video, but this is my official DCP bucket list. I have spent a decent amount of time figuring out the kinds of things that I wanted to put on this list. I didn't want to make it too huge, but like I did want to have a lot of different things on there, and I did a lot of kind of like research I guess, just looking at other people's bucket lists and just like from things I saw other people doing in their vlogs and on blogs. And I finally come up with a list that I'm really happy about, I think, and I'm really excited to try to accomplish. So obviously I'm going to tell you about it right now, but if you would rather just read it, which I completely understand, I'm actually putting my list on a, a website called Day Zero Project, so you can check that out. I'll put the link below. I've got three different bucket lists that are all kind of categorized differently, and you'll actually be able to see, like, throughout the semester as I'm checking things off and getting things done, so that's kind of cool. But anyway, here we go. Alright, my first objective is to ride or see every single attraction in all four parks because even though I've been going to Disney World for like 10 years now, I think, um, consecutively, I still have not hit everything. I still manage to find new things to do there and you know what, I'm gonna be there for such a long period of time that I have no excuse not to hit every single thing that exists there. So um, I actually have a separate list of all the attractions on my Day Zero project so I can click off the rides as I go on them and I think it's a pretty reasonable objective to hit every single ride. Second, I want to go to both water parks. I have been to them both in the past but it's been a while and I think we get into them for free during the holiday season so I definitely want to take advantage of that while I can plus just water parks are fun so why not. Three, I want to see all three nighttime spectacular shows in the same night so that would be Wishes, Fantasmic, and Illuminations all in the same night. I know it's not possible on some days, but possible on other days, so I'm gonna really try hard to like look at my schedule and the park schedules and see if I can make that happen. Number four, complete a four park challenge. I have seen so many different four park challenges, I haven't quite figured out exactly which one I want to do or if I want to make up my own with my roommates or something like that, but I want to do some sort of like four parks in one day kind of thing. Five, I want to go around the World Showcase in Epcot and take a picture in every single country. Six, this one's simple. I just want to meet Flynn Rider. I want to meet Flynn Rider so badly. He's kind of rare to find in like a meet and greet, so I'm definitely gonna make the effort to find him. Seven, I want to go to Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure at least once. I'm debating whether or not I want to buy a season pass or not. I'm not sure exactly how much I'm gonna be going, but I definitely want to go like at least once. Number eight, I want to go to a concert. I know Taylor Swift is playing while I'm down there. I think Five Seconds of Summer is playing, Nick Jonas. So I've got so many options and I just love concerts. So I think it would be fun to find some people to go with and just like hang out and listen to the music. Nine, I want to Disney bound as a character and then meet that character while I'm dressed up as them. I just think that'd be super fun and like really cute to see their reaction and get like really cute pictures. And I think I can definitely pull that off at least once, maybe multiple times, we'll see. 10, I want to go on characters in flight in downtown Disney, which is like the hot air balloon. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of like terrified by the idea of doing it, but I also really want to do it, so I'm gonna face my fears and go on the hot air balloon because I think the views will be pretty cool. And I ran out of fingers. Uh, number 11, I want to stay at Fort Wilderness either in one of the cabins or to like actually go camping because I just think that would be a ton of fun. Plus like the campfire thing with Chip and Dale looks super cute and everyone goes to Trails End for breakfast and that looks super fun. So I just think having like a cute little like mini vacation at Fort Wilderness would just be a lot of fun. Number 12, I want to eat at every single deluxe resort. Yeah, I just, I love Disney food and I love like having a nice sit down table service meal. The service and the food is always fantastic in Disney World, so I definitely want to hit every single deluxe resort and try some food there. On the subject of food, I also actually have a DCP food bucket list, which is the third bucket list I have on my Day Zero project, so that will also be in the description. And I just want to try to eat as much food as possible, basically. <laughs> as much good food as possible on my college program. Number 13, I want to go to a housing event or party that's, you know, held for CPs, because why would I pass that up? Everyone says it's fun and there's free food, so yeah. Number 14, I want to fill up an autograph book. So basically like every single page will be a different character, no repeats. I love meeting characters, so I think it'd be really cool to like say, look at all these characters I met. It would just be a really cool memory, I think. Number 15, this one might be kind of a stretch, but I'm going to try really hard. I want to go on a Disney cruise. Particularly I'm hoping to get on the magic because they just announced there's going to be Tangled the Musical coming out in November and that's like perfectly timed with when I'd be able to go on the cruise because I think you have to be working for Disney for 60 days before you can get the good discounts but I'm really hoping I can just get like four days off, do a quick cruise out of Miami, 
Hopefully I'll have the money to do it and it'll be a ton of fun. Number 16, I want to go to Dapper Day because I've never officially been to Dapper Day so I think that would be a lot of fun. Number 17, I want to jog at every single resort jogging trail. I don't think every single resort has its own trail but a lot of them have different jogging areas so I think this was a good way for me to like keep in shape and also explore all the resorts. 18, I want to make sure that I go on at least one beach trip while I'm in Florida because I do ha I live in New Jersey so like I do live super close to the beach but the beach down south is so much different than the beach in New Jersey like the water in New Jersey is so cold and just like I feel like the beaches in Florida are just gonna be a lot prettier and nicer so I definitely want to experience that at least once. Number 19, I want to play mini golf on property. Disney has two different mini golf courses. I've played them both but again this was years ago so I definitely want to do that again and I'll probably get a discount too because like cast member so. Number 20, I want to get a perfect score on Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. I've only done it once before, it's when you like max out and it's 99999 so I did it once, I could totally do it again and it's gonna happen. <laughs> Number 21, I really want to go to Splitsville, it just looks super cool, you just go bowling and eat good food and I think that'd be a really super cool way to hang out with some friends, so hopefully I can accomplish that. Number 22, I want to be in the Candlelight Processional. Basically every Christmas season Disney casts a bunch of their cast members to sing in the choir at Christmas time for the Candlelight Procession and then some famous person will come and like read Christmas stories I believe, I don't think they actually perform with the cast members, but I think I just think that would be like a really fun thing to do. I've done choir since I was like nine years old so might as well keep up with it in Disney and it just sounds like it'd be really fun. Number 23, I want to be a wilderness explorer. So basically in Animal Kingdom they have a thing where you go around and you get badges and I've always seen it but never actually have the time to do it so I just want to spend a day exploring Animal Kingdom and you know becoming a senior wilderness explorer. 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 Number 24, I want to become a Sorcerer of the Magic Kingdom. This is another thing I've always seen but never actually had the time to do, so this is the perfect time to try that out and people say it's really fun, so I'm excited to give it a try. And then on the same category, I want to fight crime with Agent P in the World Showcase. Number 29, I want to attend Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. I have never been before but it looks so fun and like I feel like the past two years being in college I don't really have the chance to celebrate Halloween the way I would necessarily like because you know I can't really go trick or treating because I'm too old for that now but I also like I'm not the kind of person that would go to a crazy Halloween party so I kind of just end up dressing up with my friends and we're just kind of like whoa it's Halloween I guess like here we go so going to something like this would be a really cool way to celebrate the holiday I think. Number 30, I want to attend Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. I have actually done this twice with my family and I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite parts of Disney World, I think, and like looking back on my vacation memories with my family. It's just they, they make the park so festive and it like snows on Main Street and they give you free cookies and hot chocolate and all the lines are really short because they limit the amount of people they let into the park and there's just so many characters you can meet and overall it's a really fun experience and I definitely want to do it again. Number 31, I want to see the Magic Kingdom Welcome Show. In all my years of going to Magic Kingdom, I have never gone there early enough to see the Welcome Show, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna wake up early, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Number 32, I want to perform at Night of Stars, which is the CP talent show. I have no idea how this works, I don't know if they just let anyone in or if to audition, but I'm gonna have my guitar with me so I'll be able to like, you know, throw something together and hopefully get to perform at the House of Blues, which would just be incredible and awesome. <laughs> Number 33, I want to visit every single resort. So I don't know, I'm assuming I can't do this in one day, but I just want to spend some days like resort hopping and exploring because all the resorts at Disney are so nice, whether they're the Valley Resorts or the Deluxe Resorts, they're all just really cool to walk around and explore, so I definitely want to have, take the chance to do that with every single resort. Number 34, I want to make sure I play Grocery Bingo because I love bingo and I love free food, so like, why wouldn't I do that? <laughs> 35, this is probably going to be the hardest one to accomplish on my bucket list but I want to work on some sort of production while I'm in Orlando. I'm a television production major so I'm usually during the semester I'm always working on like either my school's television station or on my friends short films or like my own projects for class and so not doing that for a semester is gonna be really weird and being in Orlando and in Disney World there's gonna be a lot of different productions going on and I want to try to get on hopefully a professional production just to like get some experience in my career field while I'm in Disney having fun. 
So I'm gonna try really hard and see like what I can do with that, but we'll see. Number 36, I want to ride the orange side of Mission Space because I'm lame and I've only gone on the green side. And now I finally decided that I want to go on the orange side, but the past few times I've been to Disney, no one will go on the orange side with me. So I'm gonna do it even if I have to go by myself. It's gonna happen. And then the last thing on my bucket list right now, number 37, is to go to SeaWorld probably just once. I don't need to buy season passes or anything, but it's just like kind of nostalgic from my childhood going, and I think it'll be a good time just, you know, going, seeing the animals. Typical Orlando thing to do. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for my bucket list for now. Um, if you follow my Day Zero project, like I mentioned, you can see as I check things off, and also if I decide to add anything else, either before I leave for the program in August, or even, you know, during the program if I come up with new goals and I want to make sure I remember them, I'll add them to the list and you can all see that. So, link down there. I think my username for that is Breno Takes Disney, so you can check out all of my goals. And yeah, that's it. See you next time.